since we're expecting the magnetic field to be circulating around the wire, cylindrical coordinates work really well for this problem if we align the z-axis uh, with the wire axis. So this would be the z direction. Additionally, the calculation is simplified if we put the observation point parallel with z equals zero. Oops. Oh, here's our observation point. So I'll put z equals zero right there. Okay, this is shown a little more clearly here. So applying cylindrical coordinates to this problem, we need to know what r hat is. r hat going from our current segment to our observation point. And also we need theta, r, and dl. And we also need to know how they change as we integrate along the entire wire. This blue-green arrow here along the z-axis represents one of the infinitesimally short segments. Spend a minute filling in values for r hat, theta, r, and dl as much as you can and, and simplify the expression as much as you can for the magnetic field. Just see how far you can get.